Michaela Allen is here with the ASU Planetarium. I got her name right this time, and she is going to tell us about the events they have happening tonight yes. and every Thursday. Mm -hmm. Through March, at least. Yeah, through well through the end of the semester. We have um, two shows right now that we're playing till spring break, and then we'll change the shows till oh, okay. after spring break. And this all takes place at the ASU Planetarium. Mm -hmm. So tell me what they are. Yeah, so we have um, shows every Thursday night at seven and eight o'clock. Uh, the first show is called Oasis in Space, and it's about um, kind of a guide through our solar system. So its kind of main focus is on looking for water on other planets, oh, cool. and specifically like what's the possibility of finding life on other planets in our solar system. That's so it's really, really interesting. Neat. Yeah. Um, and then the second show at 8 o'clock is called Dynamic Earth, and that one's kind of about the uh, climate system of Earth. So it takes um, actual data from satellites and uh, kind of puts them into models that are really cool animations and stuff and talks about how our Earth's climate system works and stuff like that. So it's really interesting. And this is all on the planetarium oh, screen. Yeah. So it's like a three... Yeah, so, 360. <laughs> yeah, it literally. It's kind of like going to the movies, except the screen's just not in front of you. It's all around you. So it's really neat. And the, how do you find these movies, or where, how are they chosen? Uh, so our planetarium director, Dr. Carroll, finds a lot of them through the European Space Agency. Um, oh. They make a lot of the shows, and we get to use them. Um, we've actually recently started translating some of the shows to other languages, because we have a very um, wide variety of, of native people at a uh, Angelo State. So wow. we have some new <laughs> shows that are in Spanish, or um, we're working on some other languages, too. So too. if someone wants to see the Spanish version, Version of one of these shows, do they just like request it to you guys? Yeah, or? so we we actually will probably be doing Spanish shows sometime this semester. Um, we have a Facebook page that we kind of put like special events like that on. So if anyone's interested in that, just keep an eye on our Facebook page. That's really neat. Yeah. Who tr who does like the voiceover when you translate them? Um, so Angelo State students do that um, in our communications <laughs> department. And what's really cool is um, some of those shows have actually been put re-uploaded on um, the European Space Agency site so that other uh, planetariums around the world can use the translated that shows, too. That is so cool. Yeah, And it's awesome. we get to see them right here in San Angelo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what I which one is your favorite? Do you have one out of the two, or you love them both? Uh, I like the Oasis and Space one just because that one is space, and I, <laughs> I like space. <laughs> so that one's kind of more my favorite, but they're both really interesting. And that one's at 7 p.m.? Yes. So mm -hmm. what do the people need to do to... Do you need uh, tickets or? Yeah, so we sell tickets right at the door. Um, uh, adults are three dollars. Senior citizens and children, uh, five and up, are two dollars. Uh, any children five and under are free, um, and ASU students get in free as well. And it's probably extra credit, but they get yeah, in yeah, free for two. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the people that they maybe they've never been to a planetarium, there's also your. Dr. Carroll does a star show afterwards, so talk yes. a little bit about that. So we um, show the movies. The movies are anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes long. And then afterwards we have a star talk where uh, we talk about constellations that are up in our night sky right now and how you can find them. And uh, sometimes we'll bring out telescopes after the show as well Ooh. to look at planets if there are any planets up. Uh, we haven't done that recently because it's been kind of cold, but hopefully soon we'll be getting uh, telescopes out for after the shows. Yeah, because now... Fingers crossed this stays a exactly. around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But what are some of the big constellations we can see now? Uh, so right now, we can see Orion up um, around like 9 or 10 o'clock. Um, and the brightest star in the night sky, which is called Sirius, is right underneath Orion. So we can see that one um, pretty visibly. But you'll have to go to the shows to learn a little bit more. Oh, about yeah. I was like, I don't even know which one Orion <laughs> is. <Yeah>. But <laughs> they go tonight. <laughs> That is afterwards. Yep. So you can go to one of those shows. There's at 7 and 8 p.m. Oasis in Space and Dynamic Earth. And you can go to their Facebook page for all the other information that you want to know or to see when one of the Spanish versions is going to be playing. Stay tuned. I'll be back.